can be able to harness it and everything. I think he will just get a, a, a some side. a decent side, yeah, yeah, for for the championship. Okay. Next year. Okay, we'll see. We'll find out. Right? Find it's only a matter of time before we get to know uh, whether uh, there's. Um, Super 6 is enough preparations uh, for the Chan Eagles ahead of next year's tournament in Morocco. Uh, from the Chan Eagles, let's talk about the, uh, the, the, yeah, the real, no, okay, they're all real Eagles. Let's talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria ahead of uh, Russia 2018. Uh, Cecilia, um, yesterday, um, you know, um, in an exclusive interview with a, with a uh, French uh, publication, General revealed uh, that Nigeria will actually, I was quoted to say Nigeria will take on Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ahead of the World Cup as preparations uh, for that first match against uh, Croatia, uh, which is very, very crucial. And, and the question is, um, Poland, I mean, Poland obviously a very good side. Yeah, uh, they, were, they were seated, side. right? And um, they qualified quite comfortably. Mm -hmm. And um, is that good enough? Or? Very good. Very good, really. Yeah. You, didn't <laughs> <even> <laughs> <land>. <laughs> because, you know, we Poland, talked about yeah. the fact that in, you, you, you're playing a, a country like uh, Croatia. Mm. So you need teams that are as rugged as that. Right. So I think Poland is definitely a decent set for Nigeria. Mm. We, we heard about Serbia before. We had well, yeah, you know, Serbia. Serbia and all that. Yeah. But I, I think I would rather prefer really? a Poland test really? than a Serbia Why? test. I just, I just feel, I mean, you I mean, talked about the fact the that they were seeded yeah. and also the fact that they had a decent qualification and all mm. that. And it's also a team that's going to the World Cup. So what mm. else do you want? Mm. Mm. I, th I think we're playing P Poland is a good one. Correct. We heard about England and all that. Well, it's also feeling, another, yeah. another good one. So we already works. played a South American side. So when you have all these teams you're playing, you know that I think your grounds are covered. Mm. If you play Poland, I think you might just be playing a team similar to Iceland. Mm. Or even, um, Croatia, or even Croatia, Croatia so as well, yeah. which is a very good test for mm. the Super for Eagles, yeah. So. And both of them know that they are going to the World Cup. They know mm. they have to be at their best because they know the coaches want to look at the players. Correct. It's going to select the final squad for the World Cup, and mm. so it's really going to help this place. I think Poland, for me, perfect. Uh, is, is perfect. It's a decent side. Decent side. So that match is scheduled uh, to take uh, place uh, in Warsaw. That's the match uh, the twenty. Third, Nigeria versus Poland in a pre walker friendly, according to the Super Eagles technical advisor, uh, Gernot uh, Raw. So that's it for uh, the Super Eagles. We continue to monitor uh, the situation and see uh, which of the friendlies uh, the Nigerian Football uh, Federation and uh, has in store uh, for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. From the Super Eagles, let's talk about the Beach Eagles. Okay. Uh, the Alibis. Beach Eagles. <laughs> you see, like the Beach Eagles, um, the Copa. Um, a couple of Lagos uh, beach soccer events and the final went down uh, yesterday and um, Beach Eagles of Nigeria took on Spain and uh, what was the score like? Okay, it was very close, 6-5. Six, 6-5? Five. Six, five. Very close. A lot of close um, uh, results um, mm -hmm. in this year's um, uh, beach soccer events in, uh, in Lagos and um, I know I don't like doing moral victories. I mean, you lost, you lost. Uh, but uh, for these guys to continue to yeah put out uh, consistent performances, um, despite the fact that they hardly together. I mean, they just call them up whenever there's Anytime. a tournament. They, they turn up. Abu Aziz, uh, Nick Ogbona, all these guys just turn up and absolutely, you know, go there to give their best. So coming second for me is not a bad result. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I think for the Beach Eagles, you know, I don't know what's... I don't know what really make them think or something like that because the you know there's just something something really unique about these guys. The I mean, most of them play in the league. Yeah. I mean, anytime they say, okay, just leave the field, come to the sand, mm -hmm. and you see them giving their best. For them to have this kind of close results, yeah. I think we have the, the very best. I'm still waiting for a time when we we'll actually have you know a beach uh, a That's soccer been in league. the works for a long time it's been now. In. Mm. When you have talent like this, you have. I mean, Spain, we play regularly and all mm. that. You're not pulling players from Barcelona or from Spain or from Villarreal or yeah. anywhere. But you just have them that's ready. That's what they do. I mean, they, that's what they do. Yeah. And you have players who are not, that's not really what they do. But somehow they're just talented enough to be able to, you know, play that's, on both sides. Play on the sands and play on the field. Yeah. I think we have to do something better Surely. for them. Because year in, year out, we've seen them churning out good results and Absolutely. all that. And I th for me, I think... They've really been uh, fantastic. Fantastic. You'd say second, definitely. Uh, not a bad result for the Eagles. Let's enjoy highlights uh, coming from that final between uh, Nigeria's Beach Eagles and Spain. And here comes the free kick now. Oh, it's a good goal for Nigeria. And for the first down, after winning one and losing two.
Oh, great goal. Your rank. Opportunity is paid, and Eduardo puts it in for Spain's sixth. They've traveled far and wide. And worthy champions. Oh. Okay, that's it there. Spain celebrating um, that victory. Very slim one against uh, the Beach Eagles and 6 5. Uh, it's ended. And um, yeah, next year's another time. And hopefully, uh, the Beach Eagles can go uh, one step further. Also, uh, still talking football tonight. Uh, we're going to find out um, the draw uh, for the UEFA Champions League round of 16. And some very um, I mean, anxious wait for a lot of sides. A lot of teams that came first in the group can actually get some really, really tough, uh, you know, opponents in the round of 16. And uh, it will be very interesting to see uh, what they draw through us today. Most coaches and players talked about the fact that any team that you see in a particular stage, you know that they're good enough. Right. So whoever you're going to face, if you check out the teams that are qualified, they're qualified yeah. I mean, from Real Madrid finishing second, you ask yourself, why? Mm. Because obviously... Why? Why, why, why didn't you come why? first? Now, you so now they can day. get a Manchester United in the round of 16. That's and you it. ask yourself, why did I why? stop? It's so like early. Group. I mean, <laughs> Manchester United, <laughs> FC Barcelona, uh, PSG, Bayern Munich, AS Roma, Chelsea, Barcelona. Chelsea also finishes second. And, right. you know, it's, it's, it's interesting how this is going to look like. Juventus, Besiktas, uh, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur, Real Madrid, Shakhtar Donetsk, Liverpool, Sevilla, FC Porto. These are the teams that threw to round the 16. And okay, if, on paper, right, if we look at the score that we have, we know that teams like FC Barcelona, Shakhtar uh, Donetsk, uh, Sevilla, these, Besiktas, these are the yeah. teams you look at, okay, AS Roma, you know, on the day, you can be beaten 7-0 and all that. These are the teams you look at, they're not too good. <laughs> but then, they're just five. Mm. Now the orders out of 16, you have 11. Wow. So I, I think this Champions League this season is going to be one of the toughest because I didn't expect some of these teams to, to finish, finish second. second. Right. right, we'll go for a break now. We'll come back, we'll talk more on that and also on the Manchester Derby.